Hey guys, it's Will coming at you here with the last video of this documentary of all my armies. Again, if you guys haven't seen the last ones, check out in the end cards here. You'll see the, the latest version of that or in the links or on the channel. But basically, TLDR version of it. Lost all my notes on what I own, plus I've already I've added more to each of my armies. So this is just kind of like an update, sort of like, here's what I got and... Uh, Reference to stuff for in the future if someone's like, what do you have? What kind of units can I borrow? And I'll know what I have. Here I have is a 19,000 19, points of, um, so the Germans are 15,000, 16,000. Uh, this is 19,000 points of corn, mortals, and demons for Age of Sigmar. As of the Handbook 2021 stuff though 2022 is coming out in the next couple of weeks so knowing anything corn will go up in price for no apparent reason and it'll be worth a lot more slaves so darkness apparently getting the next codexes so let us go from left to right here i'll pull up some models so you guys take a look at and i'll talk about it so starting off here uh from the left we have a hundred plus blood letters i did do a, a challenge a while ago a few years ago actually where as contrast paints were coming out I had to paint a hundred of these by old school ways, so I did that in a weekend. Uh, contrast paint speeds it up a lot more. Right behind it we have my soul grinder where I've made the hands interchangeable so it has the claws and the sword. Then coming back around here we have the four sort of chariot thingies that I have that can either, I have them all interchangeable so they can be, well, at least three, two of them are interchangeable so they can be uh, the skull, um, chariot, the skull master guy there, this dude, or they can be the skull cannon right beside it. Uh, and as you guys can see behind, I got the mind shackle beast. I don't play him because I believe he is a, um, BM model with his current rules. So uh, I don't take him just for, you know, that sort of thing. Then we have, uh, I have one of each. Bloodthirster. Um, the one on the left without missing the hand is one of the generic guys. The one with the blue wings is Scarbrand. That was painted by a friend of mine. And then we got my uh, He's fun to play with, but not as good as the others. But he's like the Wrath of Corn or whatever. Big old axe. It actually does a lot of damage. And the one that everyone runs, the big 300 point one. That's like the super good one. This guy here, Malik. Um, I was missing horns from him from my shipment. I can't get horns for him because they, um, I don't have the receipt because I wasn't the one that made the order on the name. Like, it was a group order. Then we have our Skull Kirby's, which are Calmograths or something like that. I got four of those. We got our Chaos Spawns here. We have our Gore Beast. Look at him. He's cool. We have Skarak, the named Kermagoth. He is sick. He is missing. Again, he's also missing um, a loincloth. He's kind of cool. Next, we have behind him a the exalted demon now, but he used to be the old Age of Sigmar, fan, Age of Sigmar fantasy bloodthirster. So he's a, the exalted demon of him now, of corn. We got our endless spells and prayers. I think these are so cool. Like these are so corn when I saw them get introduced. Like crying skull, how can you not? Like it's propelled by blood and it hurts wizards. Um, for the most part, demons in Age of Sigmar are very shitty compared to their 40K alternatives. And the mortals are actually better than their 40k alternatives in, in Age of Sigmar. Mortals just seem to be better at Age of Sigmar for some reason. Next off here, uh, in front of those chariots are the skull cannons and skull altars. Chaos Knights. Along with, uh, beside them, those Chaos Chosen special dudes. They're the new models for the knights, but because of the odd number they give you in the starter boxes, I'm basically running them as the special Knights of Ren, basically versions of... Um, for Archeon. Then in front of them we have really about 30 plus dudes of Chaos Warriors. 
mixed with new and old. So, oh, blood letter, straight, blood letter down. So to give you guys sort of like the difference here. So this is a, the new models for Chaos Warriors. But that's the new. And then this is the old. So we move on to the, the middle section of the board, which is all my HQs. Starting with, we got current Cool, Carbis Call, whatever his name is, the named. So I just built him with the Flesh Hound. Bought a separate base. Chaos Lord on a Keiko Drake. Okay, uh, custom Chaos Lord dude that Bryce made. One of my favorite models of the corn line. Second favorite. The Slaughter Priest. The angry phone book man himself. The Skull Grinder. Love this model. Uh, taking the ability that lets him attack, like, doubles his attacks. But if he doesn't kill, he turns into a Chaos Spawn. This is new Skull Taker. In plastic. And right beside him we have old Skull Taker. Uh, here we have my favorite character of uh, Age of Sigmar, her, um, Valkaia the Bloody herself. Um, if you guys take a look at my profile picture on YouTube, uh, she's actually, that's her in the picture. Um, it's a meme based off the story. But anyways, I have I've taken the Dracoth Queen and basically turned it into her, uh, her before getting fully changed. And then, of course, her winged version after she gets changed. She's technically a demon princess, slash the waifu of corn, but they don't make her bigger like they should. I hope they do. Like, not huge and muscular, because her whole gimmick was, she was built and, like, hit hard, but she was also very fine, refined, and beautiful to them. So, her being taller, maybe. Like, the size of a normal demon prince, but not as wide. But still muscular, would be, um would um, fit her new model. Anyways, so we got also, um, we got two or three Exalted Deathbringers, guy with axe, and dude with spear, and paling spear. Paling spears are fun. They have a thing where if you keep rolling sixes to damage, you keep just doing wounds. Then we have two Blood Secretors, three Blood Stokers, uh, we got, of course, the best boy of all time. Freaking. There he is. Karnak. He is the bestest of boys. We have there. We have a Lord of Corn. Um, they're just on. The normal default Lord of Corn is on mounts. There is one that's off, off feet and on, like, on mount. So he's a custom one that I made. Uh, the one on feet is Call's model, just you paint them differently. We have a champion of corn. Uh, we have Skarak or something like that. He's the named Bloodthirst or um, Wraithmonger. Uh, Blood's Crater. We have a wizard in the back there he used to summon, but summoning's different now, so he's based just to cast undivided spells. Um, I know, wizard in corn. Anyways, starting in the front here, we got some cultists uh, slash warrior, uh, like blood reavers uh, for Valkaia, following the theme of, you know, female leading uh, warband. Then we have our 100 plus blood reavers. This is your frontline cannon fodder, basically. They can deal out a lot of hits. And then we come over to this part of the table. So. Starting here, uh, that's old Scar, Scar of uh, Bellacore. I do have new Bellacore, but he's not built because I don't have space to put him anywhere. So I use him as a demon prince, the old one. Come here. We have our Wraith Mongers and Skull Takers. Or Skull Rippers, one of the two. A lot of skulls in this army. Um, I used to, I liked them in first edition. I don't like them in second edition codex. Though the Wraithmongers are way superior in my opinion. 
And we have our 80 Blood Warriors. These guys are also a lot of fun to play with. There we go. Customize some of them to make them more corny slash to fit that Valkaia theme. Gave them glowy red eyes so that it looked like they were, you know, being buffed by the wraith mongers and stuff, that hatred. We got flesh hounds. Um, for those who have been playing fantasy, you probably realize what those are in the back. Uh, I use them as proxy for flesh hounds because for five or 80 bucks or 60, whatever is not cool. So, and they're all the same pose. There's no customization. Yeah, I'm going to use other models that are similar sizes. Though I do have some legit ones and like how I was saying how I turned the one that he had on his base into a separate one. There he is. Just put him on a round base because that's all I had. But I have these guys. Um, the dude on the right here is a Chaos Lord on a um, Chaos Lord on a basically Demon Cow Murder Burger, but I use him as my Sargente for the squad. Uh, again, same thing, just like the knights, the bodies are separate to be worked on, slash for ease of storage. You can tell by the legs, so. I'm not a huge person that needs to have the model 100% to play. Then we have our 12 Blood Crushers, um, the demon versions. I, I like cows. Then we got Chaos Chariots, as with Gore Beasts, Gore Beast Chariots. They're a lot of fun. We have our first altar, or second altar, painted. We have our skull shrines. They don't buff, e they can't stack or, you know, buff and do stuff at each other anymore. So there's only real point of having just one. They're, but they're a lot of, they're cool. Then we have our, guys I missed here, my manticore. I have a Lord of Chaos on a manticore. Also a wizard, you can take both. I built both. You can actually fit both um, without gluing them down. My Skull Master, guy, the Bloodthirster or Bloodletter Leader on mount. Uh, Bloodletter Leader on foot. And last but not least, the big boy himself, Archeon the Ever Chosen. This dude is sick. He took me a month just to get the courage to start painting and building him. And I think he was perfect. He's the one of the best models I've ever painted. Uh, though the one, the biggest, biggest, biggest complaint I have about him is that when they build this thing in the instruction manual, it tells you to stick the base in the middle like that. The, the rocks there, these rocks. That is, you do not want to do that. What you want to do is put those rocks where you see the... the the stone there with the two little skulls on the right. You want to put the rocks that the tail attaches to to beside it. He'll lean forwards and he's leaning over the base. So they don't tell you that in the instruction manual. But I would recommend it. But besides that, he is sick. He is definitely worth it. He is Chaos's $200 big boy, just like how Death has the Gash and Alliance has the Dragons and the uh, Ever Queen. But with that, guys, I think that is it for my Chaos Army. Thank you for taking, uh, taking a look and watching this video. If you guys want to see any sort of reviews on units or... Um, want any advice about how to build stuff, what's cool, what's good, what do I like to play and all that, how I painted these, feel free to ask below in the comments. And with that guys, we will see you in the next video. Bye bye